problems. Got to turn it off and turn it back on, huh? No, I just hit the wrong button. All right, Ryan, where are we going right now? Another day, another Craigslist deal. Getting parts for the sled, right? Yeah, I'm picking up a new motor. New motor for the sled, it blew up. Oh, you sunk it? That wasn't in a video. No, that didn't happen. You bet that I would have been there if that happened and it would have been on video, but it's just going to buy hand guards to check these out. They're only like, what, 20 bucks? So yeah. just hand guards for the season so he doesn't have to spend like 100, I think they are new. Oh, so it came here for Ryan to get hand guards. He got those back there and then he had some brand new skags. We go to the store, break a 50 to get up to 20. So 40 bucks are brand new skags for the sled because it needed them anyway. Literally like half the price or new ones are over 100 bucks, so. It's not a bad deal. All right, we got them. Let's go do uh, whatever OEM, I believe. 40 bucks, can't complain. We got the goods, the Tim Hortons mac and cheese. If you guys have watched the channel for a while, you'll know what's in this box, hopefully. <laughs> Birthday cake Timbits, the best. <laughs> right, Ryan? Best ones. That's pretty good. All right, I'll see you, boss. All right, let me know when you have so if you guys didn't see me talk about it in my podcast yesterday, what I want to do for uh, Christmas time, you guys remember the video that I made with that sandbox track, I made with that little toy dirt bike. In that video, I mentioned how in no stores, like locally, you can find any toy dirt bikes. And I remember in my childhood, you could go to the store and just buy a toy dirt bike, but I guess that's not a thing anymore. So at least to my understanding, these little kids aren't able to go to the store or their parents, whatever, obviously would get them the toy at like Walmart, Toys R Us, Target, any of those normal stores, other than like if you go to the track, but for the kids that don't don't go to the track and still want them, I don't think you're able to. So something I want to do for kids for Christmas to then donate toys is all the money generated from uh, the merch that I sell, which is linked down below in the description to the new Team MX hoodies, a bunch of different hoodies, t-shirts on my website, all the money from the t-shirts and hoodies will go directly back into ordering um, these four different options of bikes on Amazon, which then I'll go and donate the bikes to a local place which gives kids toys for Christmas. Obviously got the Kawi down here, we got a Yamaha, we got a Honda, and we have a Suzuki. So these are all like 1 12th scale, whatever, um, like replica bikes. If you order something, it's going to a good cause. It's getting kids presents for Christmas. So like I said, all the money earned from all the merch and stuff will go straight back and do ordering these bikes on Amazon. So I literally just thought of this idea today when I was looking at toy dirt bikes on Amazon. If you guys want to support it, I appreciate it. If not, and you don't have the money to buy something, okay, but uh, I just thought I'd try and do something to uh, help out the kids that are not as fortunate as us some other kids for Christmas. Because I couldn't imagine as a kid like growing up not getting any toys for Christmas. And this is definitely something pretty cool for them. So I think I'm gonna do this up until the week before Christmas. That way I can bring it to the place and then the kids can get it. So like I said, thank you in advance to anyone that helped support this. Um, you'll see me, like I said, when I order them, I'll show you and when I get all the, the bikes in from the money, you'll see exactly what I earned and you'll see exactly what I spend. So, But I gotta go outside, clean the pit bike. It's literally snowing outside right now. I gotta clean it. It's covered in mud from yesterday because I don't want that sitting on there. So All right, enough procrastinating. Maybe when I come back in, I'll show you how these are made. I've seen a bunch of comments and how I do the stickers and everything. But I gotta clean up this pit bike. thing is caked with mud. Power was feeling good today, running on uh, 112 because I didn't have any other gas. So it's feeling good right now. This thing's somewhat clean. It's currently snowing right now. I really, really love winter. Love it. It's great. But I was just letting it, just letting it idle for a minute. All right, me and Anthony are chilling right now. He's over. I'm doing some sticker orders. I'm chilling. Watch some uh, buttery vlogs. The good stuff. What do you think? You like that? Yo, he is such a <laughs> savage. I like the stash. Yeah. He's trying to go for a buttery stash there. I'm going for like the right. What's it gonna take to stash. shave that thing? I'm What's not it gonna shaving. take? Nah. Come on. Dude, look at Buttery. Look at that savage right there. He's got a stash. God, I hate winter. But uh, going to drop off some of your uh, sticker orders. This dude's got to chill. He's gonna truck's been running for like 20 minutes. I think this thing needs an exhaust. You good, boss? Yeah, I know. It needs an exhaust. If anybody wants to sponsor an exhaust for the 35 F-150, let Twin me know. Turbo, though. Twin turbo. All right, we made it. All right. Did you hear him? Because I didn't. I did. Okay. Just making sure. I was Chick fil A. Number one meal with cheese, large fries, large lemonade. Two Chick fil A sauces. How you doing? Perfect, thank you. Got the goods. <laughs> Fixing the kickstart oh, on the old 450. Ooh, like a glove. That'll work. Baseball bat <laughs> for the sleeve. <laughs> Dude, the winner's oh, gonna be so stoked, bro. Please tell me you're going to weld this back on yet. Stubby bat. Please oh, do you it. should. Please you do it. Stubby on it. Your foot won't slip off. Actually, Dude, well. you should. Yeah. 
We'll buzz it up. That'll be perfect. <laughs> Starts going back together. You can finally start the thing uh, again. Anthony bringing steel yeah. bars to Walt to Guess aluminum. who? Whoever wins this thing, it's gonna be uh, back together for uh, the giveaway. Uh, he can start it and ride it next weekend. You won't come off. Oh, you got it. No, that's good. This bike has seen better days, Anthony. It was never meant from the beginning. It was never meant from day one. She's when you bought it. But Look at these reliable. levers. This lever's all. But it's still works. Lever's good, dude. Lever's good. When you give it gas, it comes back. So Does it? it? Stop. Yeah, perfect. It's perfect. How much you want to sell it for if somebody wants to buy it? Twenty-two. Fifteen hundred. Twenty-two. Fifteen hundred. Dude, it's worth twenty-two. It just needs a new. It's not worth this. twenty-two. Yeah, it starts like. No oh, way. It'll start easier it'll than start any like, bike you own. It'll start like forty. It'll kick. start. It's great. It's any, great. It'll it's start great. faster than any bike you own. If it's back. He needs a little. My KLX starts with a push of a button. Tyler, push of the button, <laughs> kick it. I bet you it starts. You know what? The e-bike, it's one switch. It's on. Yeah, but the e-bike's no like warm -up three or... things. You have to turn the key. To turn it on, yeah, it's like you, weird. There's no warm-up. You just twist and go. I wish I had it. Good. Whoa. <laughs> Does it fit? It's close. Oh, uh, Anthony, your fork seals are mint. They're not leaking. It's a little drip. Like every pair of fork seals. I Once. It actually welded a lot cleaner than I thought oh, it would. Oh yeah, it might actually. It wouldn't live. There's not enough meat. I don't okay. think that thing would live. Yep. No. I don't believe so. With a little reinforcement, no. it will. Get the sleeve right over. Should be no. mint, huh? It's a mill special. Staring yeah. right at it the whole time. It's money. Yeah, and money. <laughs> yeah, dude, I want to play with it. Just got done welding it. <laughs> dude, look it. Dude, dude we're mint. I want to. I want to play. I want to just turn it off. It's not that hot. Oh, all right. Go dude. ahead, red. Right, right, right now. Pick it up. Pick I don't want to do the palm. Hold it and show us you got it. Please. <laughs> oh, I don't think I can do the palm. I can do the fingertips. Yeah. They're kind of yeah. Yeah, whatever, Do man. it. Grab it right now. Go uh, pick it up. No. Pick it up. No. Yeah. Pick it up. No. Do it. It's the best thing you ever You just touched it. Pick it up. Oh, no. How bad did it get you? Not that bad. Not I really didn't. The fingertips. Come on. I know oh. if I grab it, Josh is going to make me hold it. It's in my hand. I just know that it's going to happen. Well, you touched it the first Can we put it in water now? Does it fit over? Um, it will almost. in a minute. I'm going to smash it over it, I think. Hold it down a little. Like that? Yep. And we get it mm -hmm. Oh, it's working. Yeah, it's getting really hot really quick, too. Oh. Yeah, let's see it now. I feel like I'm in a kettle blacksmith shop. Dude, oh. it'll be good enough to ride for one day. <laughs> Snap. I hope it works. new one come in? Uh, 8th to the 17th. So you got like a week before the new one comes in before yeah, we give this one away. Yeah, it's gotta last, and then it gets... It's gotta last cool. just Saturday That's and awesome. tomorrow. Hold up. Look at that baseball. stash. That's precisely how I thought it would turn out. That How'd it come terrible. out? <laughs> that is not a good metal to be dealing with. It looks alright for what it is. That is not good That's to all. Anthony's standards at least, you know? Well, hold up. <laughs> It'll probably hold up. Put the baseball stay. end on the end. Yeah, we gotta stay. That way Anthony's <laughs> little <laughs> fall off. It's a pair of vice grips. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna figure it out real quick. I ain't stupid. I yeah, I'm filming it. I'll let you know what I'm about to weld. Look at it. Get it centered. Close your damn eyes. You'll pull it out of the hole. <laughs> Typical problem. <laughs> it's all that Adderall he's on, dude. All that Adderall. <laughs> Anthony, what do you think? You hyped right now? Hell yeah. Look at that thing. All for Anthony's foot not to slide off for the small guys, you know? He's a little loose. Wow, thing looks good. Still can't touch the ground. Short little guy. That was Anthony's idea. Oh, we'll put that on the end. That's sick. Your foot will never fall off again. It'll never slide off.
I don't know about that little nub on the end. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, dude. <laughs> I'm not even remotely straight. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that straight. bad boy. Individuals lost the nut to the nub. That's good to go. That that is that like good to your standards or what? It's really hard. Above that your standards. It's <laughs> freaking hard. Oh, Snap it's immediately. better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Better than nothing. We had a kickstart and two pieces and a baseball bat. I'll take it. <laughs> That's pretty good. Here we got the handle. Oh, that's it. And the handle. <laughs> oh, the foot stop. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. It's angled though. It's kind of good though because your foot doesn't really sit straight. It's sure, sure, sure. Like... Look at that. Hold his foot right on there. Didn't snap on first kick. I think it already bent though. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah, it must have. Did it? I don't think so. No, it didn't move at all. No. At least the kickstart works and yeah. the tire's fresh now. Spike got a really good warm up for that one. Tire's still fresh. And uh, yeah, 15, fresh plastics too. 1500 fresh plastics. for sale, like I said. Two brand new tires, it's good to go. Fronts really not that bad, the back's. Yeah, front's the good. Back's, oh, the, back's the back, good. that's the back's brand made. new, brand new. Look at all the it's smoke awesome. in here. Kickstart held up, it's good to go for at least one ride. Oh man. Good times, right? This stupid talking <laughs> about my stuff. Leaves his quad outside in the he snow. <laughs> Tires still flat. Two flat, so I have to talk about uh, my bike. He'll ride it tomorrow when we take it out in the snow, huh? Piece of crap. Get some quad ripping in the snow. It's got a good couple inches on it. <laughs> ready to go for tomorrow, huh? Anthony hyped the bikes ready to rip tomorrow. Finally can start the thing. Need a new tire. We leave it. Got a little package in the mail. We'll see what we got here. Guessing what it is to uh, finish the Alta off. Warp 9 uh, spoke tool. Get the hubs all Cerakoted to uh, match the rest of the bike. Okay, so I never capped this video off last night. Like I said, I don't have the hoodie on right now, but all the merch sales, all that money is going into buying the Toy Deer bikes to go to charity, to give to kids so they have something for Christmas. The links for that are down below in the description um, to my website if you want to check that out. As I always say, if you guys are new and you want to see more videos like this, more build videos, definitely be subscribed. Smash that subscribe button down below um, if you don't want to miss any future uploads. Smash that thumbs up button if you want to see more of these, like I said, more build videos. Tomorrow's video should be pretty interesting with Anthony on the 450 in the snow um, if it, everything goes to plan, which it probably won't, but still should make for an interesting video. So don't miss that. Tomorrow's video um, should be out around 3 p.m. Off of that, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Tyler Mondigan so you can see what I'm doing as I do it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.